I'm part of the Landlines research team from the Universities of Leeds, St Andrews and Sussex and we're looking at how nature writing has changed over the last 200 years and what it might say about the world today and our relationship with it. Books about nature and wildlife can often seem like windows onto the natural world, but they also create the natural world as an imaginary space that reflects the values and beliefs of the times they're written in. We're working with the Arts and Humanities Research Council on a national survey to find the UK's favourite nature book, and we'd like you to take part. Just follow the link at the end of this film and enter your choice. The deadline for entries is the 30th of November. Once all the entries are in, our panel of experts will draw up a shortlist of 10 books. These will go to a big vote early next year when we will reveal the UK's all-time favourite nature book. To help inspire you, some famous nature lovers have told us their choices. Here's a classic, The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. That's the childhood favourite of the actress and wildlife campaigner Virginia McKenna. The musician and presenter Keris Matthews has nominated Wild Food by Roger Phillips. And for Chris Packham, it has to be The Peregrine Falcon by Derek Ratcliffe. As for myself, my favourite is a little bit less well known. A Naturalist's Sojourn in Jamaica was written by Philip Henry Goss more than 150 years ago. So, now the choice is entirely yours. Thank you for taking part.